Have you ever wondered how image sharpening in the NVIDIA control panel affects your performance in terms of average FPS, in terms of 1% lows, and what it actually does to improve your image quality? Well, I got a request about two, three days ago from one of my viewers to do an on-off video with regards to image sharpening. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be exploring today. So hold on to your hats, your boots, your pants, let's go. So guys, straight off the bat, uh, before I get to anything else in the NVIDIA control panel, it's in Manage 3D Settings, it's your first little option here, yeah? Image Sharpening. By default, it's off, but obviously I'm testing off versus on. So for on, what I did is I put it on on, I put it sharp in 0.50, and ignore form grain by default starts off on 0.17. I drag that to 0.5 as well, because when you sharpen an image, um, it's going to make the form grain in the background, it's gonna sharpen that as well, it's gonna look a little bit weird. So uh, yeah, I drag this to 0.5 and you don't notice the form grain. Okay, so guys, before I go to my results, I'm just going to give you a little example over here. And now, unfortunately, my rec I use free recording software because I'm not a rich bastard. Uh, so, yeah, the quality isn't so great. So, I can't show you the whole video. I'm just going to skip to parts where you can actually notice the, the, the sharpening effect. So, on the left side, we don't have sharpening. That's sharpening off. And then on the right side, we have sharpening on. So just from this image, what you can see is everything does look a little bit sharper. The shadows, you can notice the shadows a little bit more. Um, and the image quality just looks a little bit better. Uh, even even yeah, with the shrubbery, you can see everything is a little bit blurry. Whereas there, you can see the lines of the grass, etc. So let me just skip forward a little bit to a scene that I saw just now that does show this quite nicely. So if you just look at these two bushes here, this is with sharpening off. So it looks like a little bit of a mess. It's just like dark. You can see a couple of lines, but it's a little bit blurry. Whereas here, you can definitely see the details a lot more and it does look a lot better. Now for God of War, same principle. Can't really notice because of my recording software, unfortunately. But what I will do is I'll draw your attention to certain things that are quite noticeable. So yet again, here we go. You can see this, the, um, the sun peeping through the trees casts a shadow on this rock. With sharpening off, it looks a little bit blurry. With sharpening on, uh, it looks a lot more detailed. So guys, certain games, sharpening on really does pop. Uh, the two games that I made videos of, incidentally, are the games where you can't really notice sharpening to its full glory games that really make sharpening or uh, games that really look much better with sharpening on are red dead redemption 2 because the anti-aliasing is quite shit in red dead redemption 2 so so is sharpening on it really does improve the anti-aliasing and things look a lot sharper like the bushes and things in the distance look fantastic uh, another game that really does look a lot better with sharpening on is The Witcher 3, the mountains in the background, uh, the trees in the background just really stand, stand out a lot more, look lovely. Spider-Man Remastered, Spider-Man Miles Morales, the city also looks a lot better with sharpening on. So now in terms of my results, um, all my games were tested at medium settings, where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 was available, I used a quality setting. Now all my games were tested at medium and I did use a quality setting except for Returnal because my laptop is under spec for Returnal so for Returnal I used low settings and my um, and FSR was set to balanced but everything else is medium with FSR 2.0 or 2.1 I do a lot of testing so it's absolute pain to go between drivers when I'm not doing testing so I am on the latest driver don't like this driver, the 1% lows aren't great, but it is a pain to keep on loading shaders. 
So for the purposes of this video, I'm on the latest driver. So guys, we're sharpening off. Um, over nine games, I added up my average FPSs, got to a total FPS over nine games of 642.32. Divide that by 9, so my average FPS per game is 71.37. We're sharpening on, I did the same. I added up all my average FPSs, got to a total FPS over 10 games of 632.56. Divide that by 9, and my average FPS per game is 70.28. So you can see we're sharpening on. We do take a bit of a knock in terms of our average FPS. Um, as you can see, it's slightly higher. And then I do the same thing, uh, add up all the 1% lows, get to a total 1% low figure, divide that by 9, so my 1% lows on average, we're sharpening off, is 46.54. We're sharpening on, I add up all my 1% lows, and then over 9 games, my average one, oh, my total 1% lows are 413.34, divide that by 9, and my average 1% low is 45.93. So guys, to work out my stability, I divide my 1% lows or my average 1% lows by my average FPS. And there's, even though it's lower on sharpening on for the average FPS and the average 1% lows, the, the ratio between the 1% lows and the average is almost identical to when I divide the 1% uh, lows by the average FPS with sharpening off. So, yeah, in terms of performance, you're getting the same, same stability, but slightly less FPS. But there is a noticeable visual uptake when you put sharpening on. So it's a bit of a trade-off. Like, do you prefer better visuals with the same stability, but slightly low FPS? Or do you want the highest FPS? For me, when I'm playing, I play mostly single player games. So obviously I want good performance, but I also want the visuals to look as good as possible. Because I've got low amount of VRAM, only four gigs with the GTX 1650, putting sharpening on um, allows me to, in brackets, play games in ultra, even though I don't have enough VRAM. So yeah, image sharpening definitely makes your games look a lot better. Does hit your performance a little bit, but it's a trade-off. If it was up to me, if you're playing competitive games, leave sharpening off. If you're not playing competitive games, put sharpening on. Makes things look better. Anyways, that's just what I think. What do you think? Hit me up in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button. And if you're still watching and you haven't subbed by now, now's the time to do so. Thank you so much for watching. It's people like you. Cheers.